I now got the producer of the film, Sheila Jede. Sheila, welcome to the program. Thanks for finding time to talk to us. Oh, thank you for having me. Of course, the movie is already released uh, this week. And uh, how did you stumble into this story, this uh, Alice Wedding? Well, it was, it's been a long time. So it started in 2009. And uh -huh. I was working for a production company called Matchbox Pictures, a okay. fairly well-established, well, you know, very successful production company. Mm -hmm. um, I was working there as their business affairs manager, so in a legal role, really. But they okay. knew that I wanted to be a producer. Um, so one of the, uh, the executive producer of the film, uh, he came across this... Uh, young actor, Asama Sami, mm -hmm. and heard his true life story and then brought it to the company and uh, a couple of the uh, principals of the company approached me and said, we know that you want to move into producing. Is this a potential project for you to get on board and eventually you know, drive it through as the main producer? Uh, so that was in 2009 and I just jumped at that opportunity because it was a story about um, you know, a young Iraqi refugee it had multicultural themes yes. that's very close to me. Mm -hmm. um, it was set in the Muslim community and, you know, I really want to make stories that, I guess, add something to our culture and society and understanding of other mm. cultures. So it really ticked a lot of boxes for me, so I, I jumped on board immediately. Mm. I thought that uh, that book also has already won some literary award as well. Yes, yeah. So Asama, um, actually following writing the screenplay for Ali's Wedding, wrote a memoir called Good Muslim Boy. Oh, okay. um, so it's not, a, a, the film isn't an adaptation of the book, but they both cover aspects of his life that are, you know, crossover. Mm -hmm. And it won um, the New South Wales Premier's uh, uh, book award for, literary yeah, award for right. multicultural mm. um, books. So yeah, he's had a lot of success. Right. Definitely. Did you have to go through the, to understand the cultural sensitivities as well before you started producing the, I mean, yeah. um, uh, giving your, director a hand yeah yeah absolutely i mean it was more because asama was the co-writer of the screenplay but he's also the actor and he was an associate producer so making sure that all of us that the producers the directors everybody involved um understood the world that mm -hmm. we were depicting um as much as possible was so important and asama as well as other cultural consultants that we engaged to come and okay. give us advice and tell us um you know how certain houses would look or how the mosque would look or what people would wear. Um, we had a lot of consultation mm. throughout the the film to make sure that we we got it right. Mm. Um, you know, in terms of the themes, a lot of the themes that are in the film are themes that resonated with me because it's a migrant story. Of it's course, about yeah. you know parents who've come here. Yes. In his case, as refugees, just wanting the best for their children and striving to become a doctor. Like all of these themes are very familiar <laughs> <laughs> the child yeah, you know true. in in Indian community as well. Yes, so, yes. I can relate to that. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah, that's right. Yes. Yeah. yeah, but uh, who is the director of the movie? So the director is Jeffrey Walker. Mm -hmm. He's um, uh, an up and coming, well, he's a very successful television director at the time and has since made two feature films. Okay. Uh, he came to us recommended by the co uh, screenwriter of Ali's Wedding, oh, okay. Andrew Knight. And he's, Jeffrey's done some amazing work um, in television, including Modern Family and executive producing and directing another television series in New York recently and Dance Academy in Australia. So he has a wonderful um, hand on comedy uh, mm. that was very important to us, but also to, to bring the truth of the characters and make the emotional moments land. So mm -hmm. it, we were lucky that uh, he agreed to do mm. it. Is this your first feature film? It is. It is my yeah. first feature film. Um, it's taken a long time. but <laughs> yeah. yeah, I remember talking to you about your uh, short films before. Yes. And yep. The one which was showcased at the Sydney Film Festival, The Spice Sisters, was yes. the one which uh, we talked about last time around. Yeah, um, yeah. And also before that, several other short films. So yeah. how difficult was it to enter into the feature film yeah. category from the short films? Is it a totally different ballgame? Uh, yes and no. I think w short films are a fantastic training ground. Mm. It's where um, you know I learned about crewing and how a day on set would run. And essentially a feature film, in terms of the practicalities of, of things. It's essentially a short film done six times over, you know, mm. 15 minutes or you end up doing 100 minutes for a yeah. feature film. So in that sense, it's it's a fantastic way to, to learn and um, you know hone your craft and your ability, communication skills, all of that. I guess the big difference with feature film is that everything is bigger and mm. that includes the budget. So there's a totally different financing yes. um, avenue that you have to go through to you know raise, the, raise a big budget to get something done so that it will screen at a cinema. It's very cutthroat and very hard to get 
films in cinemas mm -hmm. um, in Australia. So, uh, yeah, I suppose there's de it, I, I don't regret a single short film that I produced um, in terms of getting me to this point to make my first feature film. Mm. Yeah, of course, you're a solicitor by profession and training. Uh, yep. How is it gelling the uh, you know, balancing your legal profession along with uh, your passion for well, producing movies. Well, interestingly, you'll be <laughs> surprised to know this, Uncle. I actually finally gave up the law. Oh, did you? Um, okay. Just before I started shooting Ali's Wedding. That mm. was in the uh, second half of 2015. So w once we hit production, I knew it would be a full-time commitment. Yes, that's right. Um, and so I let the law go. But that's not to say that I don't call upon those skills as a producer. Uh, um, you know, it's yes. all very relevant still. So although I'm not practicing as a lawyer and... From here on, I want to dedicate my work to film producing and maybe a bit of writing and directing. Mm -hmm. um, uh, yeah, I'm not practicing as a lawyer anymore, so it's good to have finally made that transition. It's something I've been working yes. towards for yeah. 10 years now. I mean, I've been following your passion for making movies yes. for a long time now. Yeah. Uh, what does future hold for you then? Oh, I'd like to make more feature films that, like Ali's Wedding, um, you know, explore cross-cultural themes. Um, uh, promote uh, greater understanding of different cultures and more empathy like I don't know just the world that we're living in today and just what we're up against in terms of the prejudice and the stereotypes especially when it comes to the Muslim community I mean mm -hmm. yeah. if I ask you to put a finger on a few things a couple of things mm. uh, what's unique about this film and why people should go and see this film what would you say I would say um, it's unique because it's really really funny but it's also very moving mm -hmm. I think that's often hard to get it gives you an insight and a window into a community um, and a world that's namely the, the Muslim Arabic community that isn't ever really shown authentically and honestly mm -hmm. in, um, yeah, on screen and yep. it's you know, kind of demonized by the media. Um, and I think lastly, I don't know, it's just a, it'll, it's a, it's a really uplifting, feel good film. Mm. So I think um, they're probably the three things that uh, why I really hope that it resonates with audiences and people will want to go out and see it and take their parents to see it and, you know, be like a... Uh, we'd like to think that there's a wide audience mm. for it. There you go, viewers. Uh, <laughs> you can see those films and uh, the film Ali's Wedding in the theatres in Sydney and is it released all over Australia? Yeah, it's national release. National release, there yeah. you go. And mm -hmm. uh, uh, Sheila, what, what about uh, your... Uh, uh, following this passion on to, let's say, Indian cinema and Bollywood. Uh, that's next. I feel that's next. <laughs> My next film, I really want to make a, um, a feature film set in the Indian community in Australia. So yes, that's, yeah. I've always wanted to do that. I've got a couple of ideas. Mm -hmm. Time. <laughs> well, that's true. Uh, Sheila, thanks very much uh, for you. coming here and talking to us and all My the very pleasure. best. I'm